गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल आर वेरी वेलकम टू दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास नाउ वी आर हैविंग दिस इज द लास्ट सेशन ऑफ चैप्टर टू न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म एनिमल्स एंड मैन वी हैव टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स मैच द फॉलोइंग टिक द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द short question answer that is d and e today so let us begins the session so the first the d part that is the answer the following questions in brief first is define the following terms holozoic nutrition b elementary kernel second question is give the meaning of the following term assimilation rumination next is name the organ that makes up the human alimentary canal food question state two difference between milk and permanent teeth fifth question name the four type of teeth in the human mouth six state the functions of the incisor and premolar state the role of acid in the human stomach and the last eighth question is state the function of bile juice and pancreatic juice in the human digestive system now let us discuss the first that is the define the following terms first is holozoic nutrition so what is holozoic nutrition let us discuss holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition holozoic consist of two word holo means whole zoic means animals those animals who eat the who eat their food whole are called holozoic and their mode of obtaining food or nutrition is called holozoic nutrition b alimentary canal the long muscular tube in the human body through which food passes after its ingestion to the stomach that is alimentary canal now next is give the meaning of the following term the first is assimilation assimilation is the process of using the absorbed food for growth and for producing energy next is rumination rumination it is the process in which ruminants brings cord back to their mouth and chew it thoroughly now the next question that is name the organ that makes up the human alimentary canal the organ that makes up the human alimentary canal are buccal cavity the oral cavity second foot pipe or oesophagus c stomach d small intestine e large intestine f rectum and 9 is anus so these all are the parts of alimentary canal that makes alimentary canal in the human body that is again buccal cavity or oral cavity food pipe or oesophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus now the next question is state two difference between milk teeth and permanent teeth i have given you many difference you can write any of the two from these answer first is milk teeth milk teeth is temporary teeth appear above the gum line whereas permanent teeth is the permanent teeth appears from the gum milk teeth is replaceable 
permanent teeth is not replaceable milk teeth start appearing in the 6 or 7 month old baby permanent teeth appears around 6 year child milk teeth is 20 in numbers permanent teeth is 32 in numbers milk teeth the size is small permanent teeth the size is large so these all are the few difference differentiating points i have given you you have to write only two so any of the two you will select from it and write question is name four type of teeth in the human mouth the answer is the four are uh, the four types of teeth in the human mouth are incisor canine premolar molar now the next question is state the function of incisor and premolar the function incisor it is used for cutting of food premolar it is used for grinding of food now the next question question number 7 state the role of acid in the human stomach as we have discussed that from the inner walls of the stomach intestinal juice is there from where the hcl is secreted and what is the importance of hcl that is the acid acid kills bacteria and provide acidic medium that is important that needs for the digestion of food that is very important without acidic medium digestion is not possible now the next question question number 8 question number 8 is what state the function of the following that is bile juice pancreatic juice in the human digestive system the function is bile juice it helps in the digestion of fats pancreatic juice it helps in breaking down carbohydrate protein and fats into simpler form so we have completed the d part that is the answer the following question in brief so the e part of the question answer the first question of e part is to draw the diagram of the human digestive system so you have to draw the diagram of human digestive system so look at this diagram you have to do in your class in your homework copy so complete this diagram previously also you have drawn this drawn this diagram but you have drawn this diagram in your notes now you have to draw this diagram again in your homework copy so you have to draw the human digestive system likewise i am showing you it's clearly you can see this diagram is justify the following statement you have to prove why this is called as the following as it is said the first is first cow crow is an omnivores are you seeing why it is omnivores crow is an omnivores because they eat both animal and plant materials the next question is it is said the it is said that mode of nutrition in human being and amoeba is quite similar yes the mode of nutrition in both human being and amoeba is holozoic mode of nutrition they used to both human being as well as the amoeba both used to eat whole of their food so they are called as holozoic 
and their mode of nutri nutrition is holozoic. The next question is give reasons for the following. First is ingestion of food is difficult without teeth. Ingestion it is because our food pipe is thin and narrow. If we would not have teeth, the large piece of food will choke the food pipe. Ingestion of food is difficult without teeth. Why it is difficult? Because our food pipe that is the osteophagus is very thin and narrow and if we will not chew the food properly, then the large pieces of food will choke our food pipe or osteophagus. Now the next, now the next question is, if we chew rice or bread for a few minutes, it starts tasting sweet. Again, I repeat the question, if we chew rice or bread for a minute, it start tasting sweet. Why it happens so? When we chew rice or bread, salivary gland in our mouth, salivary gland is there. So salivary gland secretes, starts secreting saliva in the mouth, which converts starch into glucose, which is a sugar. Therefore, the taste sweet after chewing for a minute. Again I repeat the answer. When we chew rice or bread, salivary gland used to secrete saliva in the mouth which converts starch into glucose which is a sugar. Therefore, it tastes sweet after chewing for a minute. Now the next question is bacteria are present in the cecum of ruminants why the bacteria are present in the cecum of new ruminants? Let us have the answer. Bacteria are present in the cecum of new ruminants because it helps in the digestion of nutrient called cellulose present in the plants. Again, I repeat that the ruminants used to take what? Plant product or the plants? And these bacteria which are present in the cecum helps in their digestion of the cellulose. So I repeat my answer. Bacteria are present in the cecum of ruminants because it helps in the digestion of nutrient called cellulose which are present in the plants. So these all are the questions we have done till question 3. You have to complete in your answer answers all the answers along with the questions it's it should be done in your homework copy complete it and then submit it for correction